those vegan guys. Oh, thank you. Hello there, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are those vegan, vegan guys. guys. Back with another shopping vlog. Are there more reasons to shop at Maurice's? Do you remember the advert? Yeah. More reasons, more reasons, more reasons. More reasons to shop at Maurice's. Well, let's go and see if there are, shall we? Come on. So it looks like we're having vegan sausage rolls for lunch today. One fifty for two, baked fresh in house. Can't grumble about that. And we've been dying to try these, the infamous uh, Morrison's vegan pasties. Three pound for two. But we've heard such good things about them. I'm going to get them, and we'll have them with uh, salad one night. Haven't seen the vegan porkless pies, so I think that was just a Christmas thing, which is a shame because they were absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, with a bit of pickle. Will it? Oh, can't beat it, Karen. lovely chat with the lady on the oven fresh department and the porkless pies weren't just a seasonal thing they've just been that popular that they've not got any uh, so they are still in here they're gorgeous if you get a chance to try them like a bit of pickled willy on a plate oh, pickled, willy. Oh, pickled willy I've just been very very reliably informed, top secret, you can't tell anybody yet, right? The lady on the oven fresh has just shouted me over and said, on Monday, from Monday, this is got the main deal here is going down to three pound and there's gonna be loads more vegan options. Remember where you heard it. One of the really good things about Morrison's, because it's one of the only places you can get these in, you can get the Oatly Creme Fresh. How'd you face? How'd your mother? Yeah. How'd your dad? Yeah. <laughs> and you can get the heavenly whipped spray cream mm -hmm. as well. Now this is two pound. The Oatly's one pound twenty creme fraiche. We've already got that a tin of that in the fridge, so I'm not getting any. But I am getting this Oatly creme fraiche for sure. And Jason, while you're there, just show them all these gosh things as well. A lot of them are reduced at the moment, but they're, they're really good. We had these at Christmas cocktail sausages, they were gorgeous. Coconut collaborative coffee pots as well. One really disappointing thing about Morrison's that they were supposed to have sorted out a while back. They said that they had a new dedicated vegan wine section, and Jess and I came in at that time. It was a good few months ago, good wasn't few it? Months ago, yeah. And they did have like um, you know these things hanging down these kind of things that said vegan but we checked the wines in between those things and none of them said vegan we've just scoured loads here now uh, to see what's vegan loads of different wines and not one of them says suitable for vegans that we can see mm -hmm. so that's a failing on Morrison's part because now we've got to go to Sainsbury's to get a bottle of wine for tonight could have done it all here Morrison's blur us down <laughs> real crisps in, so they've got the veggie straws, kale, tomato and spinach is it? Mm -hmm. 50p a bag, clearly marked vegan, hummus chips, sea salt flavour, 50p a bag, and lentil chips, chilli and lemon flavour, 50p a bag. Amazing. So whack them in, us draw you see, and then one night when we're watching a movie or something we'll share a bag. And they're proper tasty as well aren't they? Yeah, he'll get most of the bag, of yeah. course, but we will 
technical share of bank. That's how things should happen with pizza as well. I should get most of the pizza. Shut up! <laughs> If you ever come to Morrison's looking for the tuna alternative, which is the tuna. So this one is the tuna and mayo. Yeah. And there is also a tuna Thai sweet chili. Yeah. And the one I'm gonna get to try, actually, yes, is the lemon and pepper one. That's the one I've heard the, the most about, as if it's really good. Uh, the tins are £1.30, but they're with the tinned fish. They've also got these tuna one mayo in a pack for 50p. So I'm going to try one of them, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll just get it. It says vegan, it's 50p. Whack it on a butty, see what it's like. Fair On wood. As you know, we're big fans of cocoa because we have cocoa milk all the time. We just found these cocoa dairy free yogurts, two for £1.30. Gonna try them. Rude not to, really, isn't it? <laughs> I know we've mentioned it in other vlogs before, but a lot of the Just Roll range is uh, vegan. The ready-made pastries actually say suitable for vegans. These two don't say suitable for vegans, they say suitable for vegetarians. But by ingredient, it's just a cross-contamination issue. We couldn't find these in Sainsbury's at Christmas, the croissants, and we absolutely love them. Uh, but the uh, pan au chocolat are also suitable for vegans by ingredient. So, and they're two for three pound at the moment. Bargain. So, getting both posh breakfast for us tomorrow, Cockle. For those of you that are interested, there is a vegetarian haggis here in Morrison's, which is only two pound. Uh, and by ingredient, it's actually vegan. Um, so, for our pal John Ross, here you go, Cocker Morrison's. Haggis. Vegetarian haggis. It's how we nap his tatties and neeps. Now, we've never tried these and we can't see a price, so we don't know how much they are, but they do do the heck. Vegan sausages, which look a bit like the Richmond. Yeah. To be honest with you, uh, not going to get them because we've got loads of sausages at home. But what I do think is really great is that you can get the cheating rashers here. I know a lot of people like them, uh, and they've got a good selection of the Meatless Farm Company Viva V. Show them, Jason. Yeah. Show them stuff and things. Now, we've heard quite good things about this uh, ice cream, which is Morrison's own. Um, apparently this tastes a bit like custard. 80p a tub. If that tastes like custard, I'm all over that. And me. Yeah. Uh, they do a strawberry as well, but they've got none at the moment. And our favourite burgers are a pound, so I'm getting two boxes. They are amazing. But they also do some burgers that Jason's going to show you now, which are palm oil free. They're a bit on the pricey side, but if you, you know, if money's no object, you have at it, Karen. It's your life, do what you want. Don't let nobody tell you different.
unfortunate thing is they used to have quite a lot of the fries range here in the freezers and they have the uh, spicy steak style pies of fries which are beautiful they seem to have gone now the only fries uh, item that remains is the chicken style nuggets but Morrison's have up the game with meat alternatives uh, and their own range uh, as you've just seen so can't complain um, we haven't bought much because we don't need much but we just wanted to show you that there's just as good a range here as anywhere else um, and of course as usual I have to say it because people complain you don't need to be shown the fruit and veg section it's right as you walk in and everybody knows what a carrot looks like but they don't know what's available for meat alternatives and we've showed you <laughs> Hello, we're back home now. So you saw that lovely shot of all our stuff from Morrison's on the trolley and it was like £17 or something. Seventeen ninety-five, 95 I think. Yeah, which weren't bad at all, but that was all, only the stuff we bought. We, of course, as we always do, Jason, with his ninja stylings. It wasn't it wasn't too bad today. No, nobody bothered us, uh, staff-wise, but we wanted to tag on at the end of this so it's not Morrison specific that we called in Aldi. Uh, on the way home to get our uh, our show bottle actually Toro Loco to get we've shown in it, it, it in an Aldi vlog before the Toro Loco mm -hmm. beautiful red wine it's only three seventy nine um, in Aldi's but while we were there do you want to stay there for a sec Jay actually yep. while I get these bits up we got some more of this which we've had once before from Morrison's, this from uh, Aldi, this particular flavour. How much was it, Jay? 99p. Uh, 95p, I think. It's reduced, though, so there's no guarantees. If you see it in your Aldi, grab it. Grab it. It's honestly absolutely gorgeous. We also spotted, and I'm very excited about both these. So there's this one. Yep. And it's actually vegan society on the bottom there bang bang cauliflower uh, which is cauliflower covered in a fiery sauce with spring onions ginger and lemongrass frozen and it was 99p and mighty peas and that's two steam fresh packs of peas mushy peas and again I think there's a hint of chili yeah chili and parsley 99p uh, so they're both from um, Aldi. Was the one other thing we wanted to show from Aldi, Jason? No. no that was it, wasn't it, really? That was it. Yeah. Come back, come back, my love. I'm trying to make sure she's focused on us. Uh, so, yeah, we hope that that's given you a pretty good insight into what's available here in Morrison's and a couple more bits uh, from Aldi. Out to finish with. Um, yeah, just really impressed with Morrison's. I think we said it in the video. Um, the only area really that Morrison's I think need to work on wine. is the wine section. Yeah. Uh, and I think it'd be easy enough to do it. We said stick your veggie vegan wines all in one row, all in one section, clearly label it. You can stick your reds, your whites, your roses in there. And it's, you know, it's not rocket science. But that's the only thing. Everything else is brilliant. Yeah, but, but a lot of these a lot of these supermarkets are failing now because they're not marking things as, mm. as, as vegan. And it scares people who are new to veganism when they don't see the word vegan. Yes. So if something's vegan, put the word vegan. You don't have to put suitable for vegetarians and vegans. Just suitable for vegans covers vegetarians as well so it's a wasted word it's wasted ink mm. isn't it yeah we all know this i know i'm just it's one of the actual um, just in case any supermarket managers watch this you yeah. know like our friend adam from tesco 
piss you, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> so, as always, um, thank you for taking the time and watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed our little Aldi very, very quick tack on at the end there. Uh, yeah. This is a Morrison's vlog, but a little bit of Aldi thrown in at the end for good measure. Hope you've enjoyed it, as always. If you want to see any of our other shopping vlogs, uh, Iceland, Sainsbury's, Tesco, Aldi, the big one, you know, I'll put the list uh, up there. Um, just because it's we've done quite a lot since before Christmas have we? Yeah, loads. Uh, we've done our top ten items and our essentials and all that kind of thing. Um, and really enjoy making these kind of vlogs. And if you're sticking with uh, your new vegan journey uh, that you started in for January, well done everybody. Um, I will also put up there our recipes and taste tests playlist because there's loads. I guarantee you. All the recipes I do are down to earth. Anybody can make them. I'm just a gay vegan bloke from Oldham who likes cooking. Uh, no fancy ingredients. You know what I mean? So have a look at that as well. E love you. <laughs> a right lot. Love you too, mister. Love you. Mwah. Until next time, be excellent to yourselves and each other. I'm going to put it so hard right away. Again. Really hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do like and subscribe. It helps us out loads. It really does. And check down there in the description because you'll find loads of links to the two ways that you can best support us to keep the channel going are through becoming a patron on our Patreon down there in the description or buying our merch, darling. Fabulous link down there. We deal with a fabulous vegan company called Vegan Original. Check it out, guys.